Hi, this is Amy from German Pearls and we're back with another part in our series of iPhone tips and tricks. Today we're going to talk about the control center. Now hopefully you know by now that if you need to change settings, you go into the settings button and you can do things like turn on and off Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, um, look at change the brightness of the display, things like that. But there is an easier way to get to some of the more commonly used settings, and that's by going through the control center. To get to the control center, we're going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen, starting on the color section, and here's your control center. So some of the things you can do in here are turn airplane mode on and off. If I turn airplane mode on, um, what that does is it turns off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, and any cellular connection. So you're not going to be able to have any connection to the internet. It's good if you're on an airplane, but it's also good if you want to conserve battery life, if you're in a poor cellular signal area and you don't want the phone searching for signal constantly. You can check that out in um, a post we talk about that and other battery saving tips. So we're going to turn airplane mode off. You'll notice our Wi-Fi and our Bluetooth come back on. If we wanted to turn off just the Wi-Fi, we could do that. Back on. Same with the Bluetooth. The little moon here is a do not disturb. We could turn that on if we wanted to um, keep our phone silent, if we're going to a meeting or a doctor's office and we don't want the phone making a lot of noise. Turn that back off. And this last one here is called portrait orientation. So you can lock the portrait you can lock the orientation of the phone to be in portrait, which is this up and down um, screen orientation. If you turn it sideways, that's called landscape. But with this lock button, it locks it into the orientation you have so that if you turn your phone sideways, um, if you're holding it at an angle, it doesn't flip. So we're going to turn that back off because we like it. So this slider here controls the brightness of your screen. You can make it very bright which again, that's not good for your battery, so you're not going to want to do that. So you're going to keep it at a level that's good for your eyes, but not too bright to use too much battery. Um, you can see I've been watching a podcast, so that's what you're seeing uh, sliding by. And you could control your music or your podcast or whatever you're listening to here, along with the volume. Down here is AirDrop. Uh, we also write a, wrote a post on GermanPearls.com about AirDrop. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend that because it is a super easy way to share your pictures with friends. I use it a lot uh, when I'm out and about with family and friends taking pictures. Everybody wants a copy. Rather than messaging in them or sending them through an email, AirDrop is instantaneous way to get them into your friends' photo streams. Um, so you'll definitely want to check out the post. But anyway, this controls whether AirDrop is on or off and who you can airdrop to. AirPlay is used if you have an Apple TV. Here, these are the best functions in the control center. Your flashlight turns it on, turns it off. So you're in the middle of the night, you are walking somewhere, you don't have any flashlight, but you have your phone on you. So what do you do? You swipe up to get your control center, hit the flashlight, you're good to go. Also, we have the timer. If you want to get to the timer, the stopwatch, your alarm, that's a quick way to get back to get there. If we go back to the control center, calculator, I use that one a ton. Instead of shuffling through my apps trying to find the calculator, just one swipe up, hit the calculator, there you go. And back in the control center, there's your camera. So you want to get to the camera really quickly. You can go into the control center and open up the camera. We're going to go back. Sorry, we're going to go back to the home screen, into our control center. So that's about it. These are the different things you can use in the control center. Um, you can access it from both the home screen or any screen, and also the lock screen. So if you're locked, oops, you can simply swipe up, and there's your control center. Okay. So that is a quick introduction to the Control Center. If you have any questions on some of the features in it or some of those settings, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us on the blog. And don't forget to hop on over to the blog, check out other tech tips and other videos we have on YouTube. And we thank you for watching.